Welcome to Unforeseen Incidents. This is a classic interactive mystery game uh, just released from Backwoods Entertainment, which also happens to come with some really impressive hand-drawn art. And it's also considered a challenging investigation, which it really truly is. And it also includes some rather witty dialogue and a unique cast of characters. And do note, if you are considering a purchase, that there will be a lot of spoilers. BWET Talk Radio. It's 5.30 p.m. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby and the Duke. Coming to you live from the Seagull Stadium in beautiful Port Nicola. Our top story today is still the outbreak in Yelltown. Tell us about that, Duke. An area of farmland outside Yelltown is still in quarantine one week after the deaths of three people with fever-like symptoms. Senator Sylvia Thurlow, head of the Bureau of Public Health, gave a press conference hmm. earlier today. Let me reassure the people of Yelltown that the risk of contagion is very, very small. However, if you do experience a high fever, nosebleeds, or coughing fits, please stay calm, stay where you are, and call the RHC emergency hotline on triple one, triple one. That number again, triple one, triple one. I hope our listeners in Yelltown are feeling fit and healthy because you do not want to miss tonight's big game. That's right, Bobby. Port Nicholas Seagulls versus my team, the Blue Ridge Raccoons. <laughs> Raccoons suck. Go Gulls! <laughs> Whichever team you support, the atmosphere here in the stadium really is electric. Hello? Harper, it is Rupert. Professor McBride, how are you? Not great, actually. There's a problem with my laptop. That's a very familiar phrase. I know, I know, but it won't charge. And I'm right in the middle of processing some crucial data. I'm supposed to be driving over to Port Nicola today and... Say no more, Professor. I'll grab my multi-tool from upstairs and be right over. <laughs> oh, thank you, Harper. Uh, no problem. I'll see you soon. Always the same. Right, so... Same deal. I said it's upstairs, so let's go search for the multi-tool. That's right, ladies. It's my ham radio. Hey, Harper, we love you. Your ham radio is <laughs> so cool. Calm yourselves, ladies, please. And I'm thinking there's a multi -tool. I decided to cover up the window. Sunlight makes it real hard to sleep during the day, you know? Right. Uh, old console? My old Gigamaster family entertainment system. I lost too many hours on the old GFES. Interesting interaction, though. My extensive wardrobe. I have exactly two pairs of pants. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a multi-tool. There it is. Good old multi-tool. Let's go fix the professor's computer. Okay, well, this is interesting. <laughs> Hey there. Oh, Harper. Thank goodness you're here. Come in. What's the trouble, Professor? That blasted battery is trying to murder me. You know, for a scientist, you don't always... It will not charge. And I'm in the middle of modeling the latest data from my research team. It's been processing all night. 
If I lose power now, I'll have to start over. I need this analysis for a very important presentation at PNU tomorrow. Can you fix it? I'll see what I can do. It's nearly out of juice and it isn't charging. I don't get it. I replaced the battery like two weeks ago. Professor? Yes? What's that presentation of yours about? It's my analysis of factors leading up to the recent outbreak. Milltown fever? Yes. No. Well, the trouble is, we don't really know what kind of disease it is yet. The Dean of Medicine asked me to address the virology department tomorrow. We're hoping my research might help fight whatever killed those people. Interesting. Is Yelltown fever really that dangerous? I'm afraid so. The little brute seems to be acutely virulent. By all accounts, it kills in a matter of hours, not days. Jeez, hours? What if I've got it? You'd know, Harper. I'm told symptoms start appearing immediately after infection. Wow. Those poor people. Don't lose hope, son. There's still time to contain it and prevent an epidemic. Good to know. So anyway... Any idea what's wrong with your laptop? No. I plugged it in, but the battery's still going down. Okay, let me see if I can fix that laptop. Thanks. No reason to snoop around the professor's stuff. No reason to snoop around the professor's stuff. I should fix the laptop before I go. Oh, there's something. Let's check that out. Let's take a look here. There's your problem, Professor. The power cable's frayed. Dash and blast! How did I miss that? Eh, it's no biggie. I can patch it up with my multi-tool and some electrical tape. Oh, good. Yes, I'm sure I have some electrical tape somewhere. Uh, leave it with me, Professor. So I gotta find electrical tape. All uh, right. Hmm, no electrical tape in here. Just some dusty old vinyl records. Those are classic blues pressings, Harper. Remember, you used to listen to them on my old turntable. It's 2017, Professor. I listen to tapes now. Right. No electrical tape here either. Why do you have so much junk? Junk? Out of interest, how tidy is your place right now? But I'm broke. You could use your sweet university dollar to hire a cleaner. Ha! Ah. This reminds me of when I used to help you out in the lab when I was a kid. Maybe we have different understandings of the word help. Hmm. Ah, here's the electrical tape. Excellent! Can you fix a laptop now? Hopefully. The cable is frayed in the middle. Probably eroded. I need to strip and splice it, then insulate it somehow. Okay, I gotta figure out how to do this. Cut electrical tape. I have the multi tool. Oh, right. Uh... Fair enough. Bottle opener, file, wrench, pincers. This doesn't feel like a pincer situation. Come on. Come on. Do this then. 
I don't think the scissors are sharp enough. Fine. Come on. What is this? Screwdriver, knife, pincers, bottle opener, file, wrench. Go with the knife, maybe? I don't want to cut that. Okay, I'll strip the cable and remove the frayed wire. Here we go. Now, let's get splicey. <laughs> Looking good. I spliced the cable, but the wires are still exposed. I need to insulate it with some electrical tape. Come on. Okay, let's make this safe-ish. All right, let's plug this baby in. Okay, she's charging now, Professor. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Harper. How much do I owe you? This one's on me. But a guy as smart as you shouldn't have to call the village idiot every time his laptop goes kablooey. Harper, I hate to hear you do yourself down like that. You're not the village idiot. I really appreciate your help. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Fair enough. All right, so... Out we go. Kind of an interesting interaction, though. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting something maybe a little bit different, but uh, it's pretty cool. Not gonna say it's not. RHC emergency paramedics are here to protect your health, but why are they dressed like evil spacemen? And that statue has been standing here for years, frightening children. All right, let's just see if we can get out of here. Go somewhere else. I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere else. What the? Right. Hello? Jesus, are you all right? Get out of here. Leave me alone. But you need a doctor or... Wait a minute. Is it... Is it the fever? Please. <laughs> Please. Get away from me. I'm going to call RHC. No. Not RHC. But you need a doctor. I just need you to leave me alone. RHC might be able to help you. I don't want their help. I'm going to call them. Please, don't. Please, don't call them. I'm sorry, it's for the best. <laughs> Attention, Yelltown. This area is experiencing an outbreak. Know the symptoms. Wow, symptom list is long. Headache, fever, nausea, bleeding. Ew, gross. Bleeding from the nose, ears, mouth, or eyes? Mm-hmm. See the symptoms. Call the RHC emergency hotline on 111111. Well, I feel more relaxed. It's over here. Good Lord, Harper, what are you doing out there? Huh? Mrs. Olsen. Can't you see that woman sick? Call the hotline. She says she wants to be left alone. Don't joke with me, son. I'd call whatchamacallit myself if it wasn't for my sciatica. She's on death's door. Make the call.
We shouldn't. She doesn't want our HC's help. Saints preserve us. If you won't call him, I will. I'm not gonna just leave the poor girl there, sciatica or no sciatica. Uh, whoa, wait, wait up, Mrs. Olsen. Moron! No! She's <laughs> leading them right to me. They're coming to help you. Shut up and listen. <laughs> if they find you with me, they'll take you in for testing, too. D testing But I'm not infected. If they take you, you'll end up watching the big game from a body bag. B but am I infected? If you do what I tell you, at least we have a chance. I think I better stay with you. Don't you listen? Go to the hotel. Find Hallowell. Find who? Reporter. For the Times. Give the envelope. Envelope? What envelope? In the backpack. This, this is crazy. I... Take it, please. <laughs> Take it to Hallowell. Tell no one else. Okay, okay, I promise. Only <coughs> Hallowell. They're coming. Go now. <laughs> All right, and we're going. There she is. Please go. <coughs> Anyone there? Uh oh. But it's such a dystopian, depressing kind of environment, though. Hotel kind of looks like the Shrieking Shack from Harry Potter. Hey, Morton. Hey there, Hoppo. Are you here to watch the big game? Everyone's downstairs already. Uh, I'd really love to watch it with them, but Mr. Seagull says I gotta stay on front desk. Actually, I'm looking for a guest. Someone called uh, Hellowell. I, I don't know his first name. Hellowell? I'm sorry, Harp. There's nobody here by that name. But I need to find him. Well, I'm sorry. We ain't got your Hellowell here. But I was told to find Hellowell at the hotel. Told by who? Um, I just saw an infected woman in the street. What? An infected woman? Jeez, Hopper. I know. It was pretty awful. What did you do? She told me to leave her alone, so I did. You phoned RHC, right? Actually, Mrs. Olsen called them. That lady, she was so frightened. B pretty scary. You didn't get infected, hmm. though, did you? Nah, I haven't gotten sick since we were kids. Phew. Well, that lady was probably just talking crazy with the fever and all. Oh, well, maybe. But it sounded so serious. Sounds like a wild goose chase to me, Harp. Are you sure you don't have a guest called Hellowell? Yep. Sorry, Hopper. I don't remember you being such a big football fan. Oh, oh, oh I am, I am. I, I dig the Sea Dogs. The Seagulls, more. Exactly. Uh, go Gulls! Woo! You don't know a thing about football, do you? No, no. I, I'm a fan all the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of the Sea Dogs. Oh, damn it, Harper. Okay, I want to be a fan. Everybody's going to talk about the big game tomorrow. I don't want to be out of the loop when I, uh... <clears throat> what do 
What do you think about Yelltown Fever? Real scary. They talk about it like it's... Like it's the Acropolis or something. <laughs> <laughs> the Acropolis? Yeah, like some Revelations crap. Wait, is this football thing about a guy? Well, uh... <laughs> Dada Bear's coming out of his cave. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I just may have a date with a certain gentleman acquaintance. Way to go, Morton. But he's so into sports, I don't want to look dumb. Mort, don't worry about looking dumb. You always look dumb. Hey! But you're a nice guy. I'm sure you're gentlemen. We'll see that. <sighs> I still wish I could watch the game, though. Sorry you're going to miss the big game. It's the worst. How's the hotel trade? Eh, could be better. This Yelltown fever thing is not good for business. Worse than the Yelltown fire and the Yelltown floods put together. On the bright side, not as bad as the Yelltown earthquake or the Yelltown hurricane. Why would anyone build a hotel here? Never mind. Hopper, I told you, you can't be back here. I got in real trouble when I let you store all that meat in the AC. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Mort is not usually this on the ball. Mr. Siegel must have drilled him. Well, what do we do now? Guess we have to leave. So much for the Shrieking Shack. Looks like they're showing the game in the hotel bar. Well, I don't think that'll get many Yelltowners off their couches. Uh, what was that? Oops. Always Came smart to have it. a backup generator. I helped Mr. Siegel install it back when I was in high school. Leaving your paint lying around is very bad paintsmanship. Anyone could come along and take it. My guess no one will miss this. <laughs> sure. Oops, no, we don't want that. Ah, uh, the junkyard. The audio glitches every once in a while. I don't know, it's weird. Won't be long until the crane becomes part of the junk pile itself. The circle of life. I always keep a keen eye on the scrap electronics. I found some sweet radio stuff in there in the past. Fair enough. Looks like business is rusting. Seriously. Just talk to Leroy. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hopper. How you doing? <laughs> You hear about this, uh, Yelltown fever business? Yeah, ain't nothing Yelltown can't have. I don't know. I think it's pretty serious. In my time, I've seen floods, snowstorms, rains of frogs, earthquakes, mm -hmm. volcanoes. There's no volcano mm -hmm. in Yelltown, Leroy. Yelltown folk can handle one little plague. That's what I'm saying. Are you watching the game? Of course. I never miss the big finale. Wanna join me? No thanks. I got too much on my mind today. Not me. <laughs> How's the junkyard business? Ah, oh, things have changed since you used to work for me, Hop. Yes, sir. Things have changed. Leroy, you're currently watching a football game instead of working. Things haven't changed that much. <laughs> How's the game going? Looking pretty good. The seagulls are dominating, but the raccoons have a good team this year. Could go either way. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Well, 
It seems you're a very lucky boy, Harper. So I'm... You're fine. You're not showing any of the symptoms. Clean bill of health. Oh, thanks, Professor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm not sure she had anything to do with it. Hmm. The infected woman was talking kind of strange. How do you mean? She gave me an envelope for a reporter named Helliwell. I think there's something not right going on here. Harper, I've studied countless outbreaks like this. Sometimes the panic and the fear are more deadly than the disease. Don't get caught up in paranoia. Remember, the only way to beat this thing is to wallop it with some cold, hard science. Mm-hmm. A neighbor lady called in RHC. They'll be able to help her, right? They'll take her to the RHC emergency treatment camp and put her on life support. Then, if her condition stabilizes, they'll move her to a specialist hospital. So we did the right thing. She was dying. What choice did you have? We need to get out of town. This disease is killing people. Try to stay calm, son. Why don't you come stay with me in Port Nicola for a while? I, I haven't been to Nicola since I dropped out of PNU. Then it's settled. I'll drive you over as soon as I've finished my presentation. Hold up a minute. That's mm -hmm. a thought. This, this is excellent news, Harper. What are you talking about? What an opportunity. I'm going to need your help. What are you planning, Professor? A blood sample from that infected woman would be the first step towards a vaccine. I need you to sneak into the treatment camp and get one for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't you just ask the RHC guys? <laughs> Rancho want a Rancho brand vaccine. They don't share data with lowly academics. Really? But people are dying. Exactly. With my research, I might be the only one who can crack this thing. Help me, Harper. Help the world. Oh, crap. I saw your car in Jake's shop. It looks like a total wreck. No, no, no. Jake's just fixing the brake light. He said he'd drop around today. I think he lied to you, Professor. Looks like Jake left town, and I think he maybe cannibalized your jalopy for spare parts. Damnation! We'll need that car to get to the treatment camp. And Port Nicola. Your ride is garbage. What now? I hate to ask, Harper. Do you think you could take a look at her? You see, I have to... Keep doing science. I get it. Give me the keys. Thank you. We need that car working. Hey, Professor. Hello, Harper. Huh. Are you really serious about this crazy plan? Deadly serious. This is too good an opportunity to let pass. You'll be taking a big risk by stealing a blood sample, but hmm. you might also make history. Do me this kindness, and then we'll drive to Port Nicola together. <sighs> and uh, what will you do while I play gopher? Science, my boy. I have to finish tomorrow's presentation and pack up my lab. I'm still working on your car. Jake really did a number on the old girl. Thanks, Harper. See you later, Professor. Goodbye, Harper. All right, so off we go to fix the car. I mean, the story itself is pretty good, but I mean, it's not, you know, super... How would you put it? It's locked, but she isn't looking good. Super gripping, but, you know, it is what it is. Professor McBride's car. She's seen better days. Professor McBride's car. She's seen better days. Okay, well, I guess that's that. Now, is there a town map around here somewhere? We have a bunch of tools. Bunch of stuff, too. Great.
All right, I think I'm gonna call it there. And let's see what's in here. The TV VCR combo, the pinnacle of oh, yeah. entertainment systems. This thing's <laughs> actually in pretty good condition. I wonder if it works. I'm sure Leroy won't mind if I borrow it. All right, well, now that we have that kind of worked out, let's go let's see what else we can do here. Um, I've been trying to figure out exactly where to go from here. And I would say I need to go back to, I need to go back to the hotel. Let's just do that. Let's just hope for the best and we'll head into the hotel. Because we just picked up a TV, so I have a bit of an idea. I don't know if it's 100% sure or true but uh, uh, talk to Morton again hey Morton hey buddy sorry you're going to miss the big game it's the worst are you sure you don't have a guest called Hellowell yep Sorry, Hopper. Never mind. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go back outside for a second. I never checked this before. I never checked the lights. Could be something up with that. Pretty festive, huh? Cable. Huh. That loose cable makes it a little difficult to read the sign. Well, let's fix that, Pendrel. Ah. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Let's just go back into the hotel because we have a TV and this bellboy wants to watch the game. So I'm thinking if we can get that TV set up, that could be a thing. Let's talk to Morton again. Hey, Morton. Hey, buddy. Sorry, you're going to miss the big game. It's the worst. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Hmm. Well, let's just see what we can do here. There's got to be another possibility of something going on here, because I think there, there is some connection to that television and the cable we just found as well, too. And, ooh, there's a phone over here. Just check that out. Ah, ah, ah. Is this not the way to the solarium? You know it ain't, pal. Darn, Mort is real focused on work today. Let's just see if we can put the TV over here. Look what I found. Hey, thanks, Hopper. Can you get the game on it? I hope so. Just give me a minute. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, so we got that covered. Let's go back to the cable. I wouldn't know how to use the hose here. Oh, right, that's a hose. My bad. Where is there? Is it, there's a cable around here somewhere. A cable. There we go. That's what we try. It's kind of hidden in the dark, the, the top part of the screen there. It's, okay, let's see. Let's see what's up. Oh, hold up. I need to insulate the exposed wires before I connect the cable to the outlet. I don't want to be responsible for electrocuting Morton. Not again. <laughs> Oops. This should do the trick. Yep. Dang, it's not working. Aw, oh, man. It won't turn on. Guess that's why it got junked. Hmm. All right, well, let's just go back over here. 
unplug that. Let's try hey, something. Hey, I'm quite the electrician. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm quite the electrician. All right, fine. Maybe I should take a look inside. That sounds interesting. Okay, let's use the tools. And there's a screwdriver. Let's have a look. Aha! Uh -huh. The connection is broken by a cold solder joint. Can you fix it back at your place? What do you think, Mort? All right, that just magically got back into our inventory. Okay, fine. That was a weird setup. I didn't expect that. Alrighty, let's just go over here. <clears throat> Pardon me. That hotel definitely needs some repairs. The roof especially, jeez. All right, let's go over here. That's where he lives, I think, isn't it? Down this way. All right, I know he has a soldering gun because I remember seeing that on his desk. Let's just do that. Loading, loading. Let's go upstairs. Okay, we got a soldering gun. My trusty 40-watt chisel tip Langham soldering iron. You need a good soldering iron if you want to tinker with electronics. Speaking of which, I have to get one of those one of these days. Let's just try okay, this. Okay, let's repair this bad boy. That should do it. All right, that's quick and easy. Go back up here. So far, it's pretty straightforward. I haven't found the game overly difficult, but it, the wandering around part, trying to figure out what to do after you meet some of the characters initially is a little bit daunting. So it makes it a bit of a challenge. But nevertheless, we figured it out. Get her done. Let's go up here. <sighs> okay, let's do that. Okay, Mort, here you go. Did you fix it? Can you put the game on? Sure, buddy. Oh, thank you, Hopper. It's working, but I don't think I can get Cable Sports HD on it. Let's just Hi. talk to this guy. Hey. Howdy. Let's talk about the pregame party. Not again. I'm sure the Seagulls versus Raccoons game was fun to watch. Oh boy! You got lucky that time, Merle. 86 was a long time ago. We got a score to settle. Bring it on. Okay, I haven't tried that one yet. Anyhow. Anyway. Let's... I gotta go. See you later. Goodbye. There's a date mentioned here, so let's try that. 86. Right. Hmm. Let's see if this one could come in useful. I'll put the other one back. Let's just try it. We gotta get it right at some point. Now, let's go here. Who 
<laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. He's totally engrossed in the game. Hmm? Who's gross? I don't have time to knock on a million hotel room doors. There's got to be a better way to find this Hallowell. Let's just see what's up here. I see two numbers. There's two numbers. All right, well, let's just see if we can go back over here. Fair enough. Sorry to bother you. I have an inquiry about a journalist called Hellowell. Hellowell? Oh, Hellowell. Yes, she's done some freelancing for us recently. She has. Anything I might have read. She's contributed to our coverage of the outbreak in Yelltown. May I ask what this is regarding? Can you give me her number? We don't give out personal contacts for our reporters. You can leave a message. No, I need to talk to her. I think it's pretty urgent. I'm sorry, sir. I just can't information yeah I, I get it but thank you for calling Creep. all right uh, we have Ursula James next on there let's try her again hello uh, Ursula James this is the front desk what do you want I read an interesting article in the paper today the Port Nicola Times printed a piece about this Yelltown fever business. They... did they? I don't know anything about the outbreak. I'm just here for bird watching. You should read it. It's super interesting. It's really well written and informative. Well, the Port Nicola Times is a quality paper. What's it got to do with me? I'm just a bird watcher. Apparently, a rare golden eagle has been sighted in this area. Is that the real reason you're here? If you're trying to scare me, it's not working. Goodbye. Wait. I apologize for my poor phone manner, but I think it's important. This dying woman told me to find you. Dying woman? God damn it. <sighs> okay, let's start over. Okay, Miss Halliwell, I have a message for you. I think it's important. Would you mind if we met in person? My ear kind of aches from the phone. Jesus Christ. Okay, go down into the hotel bar and wait for me there. H how do I know you won't leave the hotel? You don't. Hmm. How do you still glitches? I don't know why it does that, but it does it. Hello? LOL? My name's Harper Pendrel. You got a message for me? First, tell me what's going on. Who are you hiding from? The message, or we're done here. <sighs> here, take it. How did you get this? It was pretty bad. I ran into this lady in the street, and she... Well, I'm pretty sure she had Yelltown fever. She was too sick to walk. God damn it, Patty. Tell me the whole story. A neighbor lady called in RHC. Before they took her away, she told me to bring you that envelope. How come RHC didn't take you away, too? I, um, I, I ran off. You ran off? Seriously? What if you caught the infection? Relax, I got tested, I'm fine. It's years since I got sick. My immune system is like a ninja or something. 
Now, mm -hmm. can you drop the secret agent crap and talk to me? I don't trust you, Pendril. I will never sit in this chair. Not after what Leroy did to it. What does it say? <sighs> That's incomprehensible. Some kind of code or formula. There are numbers and wave-like symbols. Why would Patty bother with this Nancy Drew crap? I don't think it's a code exactly. Those are electronic symbols. Something to do with radio frequencies. What are you, a radio engineer now? I'm just a handyman, but I dabble. Well, I don't need your help, handyman. I think you do need my help with that message. Well, maybe. I got all kinds of electronic stuff at home, see? Would you let me take a look at the note? Well, how do I know I can trust you? Who was that infected lady? A reporter never reveals her sources. But I already know who she is. I just don't know who she is. Let me know how you get on with that. You can definitely trust me. I've got no idea what's happening, and I'm not smart enough to double-cross anyone. But I'm good with electronics, and I feel like I owe it to that lady. Well, okay. But make a copy of it. All right, let's go back to uh, let's go back to the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of thinking, what do we have at the apartment that would be useful? The only thing I can think of right now, off the top of my head. Oh, we have a soldering gun. We have the multi-tool. We have a phone. And we have the ham radio. That ham radio could be kind of useful. Hold on a second. All right, so uh, let's just see if we can go to the ham radio. Actually, hold on a second. Before we do that, let's have a look see at the note. Hmm. Six thirty-four point three. I don't know what that's all about. Let's try the radio. Let's just look at that note again. Yeah, we got that eight degrees. degrees. Nope. And what was 
was this other one? 738.7, and we have 283. Set in the last one, 738.7. We have it all there. It's just 34.3. That's on the AM dial. Hey, oh, what's this? Field experiment phase one. What the hell? 31st of hmm. July. Yelltown unit. Yelltown? 5th of August, Arbutus Hill Unit. What is this? Field Experiment Phase 3, 11th of August. I better get Hallowell. Well, what do you think? That was quick. Very interesting. You did good, Harper. I've come across number stations before, but nothing like this. The Yelltown date. It's today's date. That's a little scary, isn't it? What does it mean? I think it means something is going to happen here tonight. What kind of something? That's what I want to find out. Is this connected to that infected woman? Well, this is the message she wanted me to hear. Is it about Yelltown fever? Some kind of quarantine, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Uh. Thanks for your help, Harper. I really appreciate it. I'm Jane, by the way. Thanks. I'm Harper. Yes, I know you are. Geez, you ever have a day where you regret getting out of bed? You call this crummy mattress a bed? For your information, that is a very expensive astronaut mattress. Which astronaut? Like of the space dog? N no. Hey! See ya, Harper. Come get me at the hotel if you find any more cryptic messages. Well, just see. Other tasks we had on schedule was to fix the car, so I think that makes pretty decent sense. I hope. Professor McBride's car. She's seen better days. I don't think I ought to wrench that. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, holy moly. The engine's been stripped. It looks like the fan belt is missing. Oh, there are two spark plugs missing. This car is in ridiculous condition. Dang, the car battery is missing. That's the radiator. Looks like a copper brass alloy. I think the engine needs some more coolant. Narts, the radiator hose has a huge leak. At least the oil level is fine. Let's go back to the junkyard to see if we can find some scrap, maybe. I don't know. I don't know where to find the parts of the car. Still like a little bit curious about that. Hopefully we get some answers soon. Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright, what other parts do we have? Electronic scrap. No? Leroy doesn't usually mind me being a magpie for electronics. As long as it's going to a good... Hard to believe I once picked up a working 76 Kojak transceiver from here. I used to operate the crane for Leroy sometimes, but I always prefer getting hands-on. Maybe there's something useful in that old car engine. I should ask Leroy. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. You mind if I borrow some bits of junk from the yard? Working on a new project, huh? Sure, take what you need. But please leave all the car parts. I'm turning a good profit on them right now. Um, actually... Have the goals won yet? Don't jinx it, Hop. The raccoons are catching up. Things are getting serious. Okay. I'm trying to fix this broken down car. Could I please take some spare car parts from the junkyard? Papa, you know I'm always ready to help a buddy. You done me more good turns than I can count. Oh, thanks, Leroy. But car parts fetch a good price. I might need just one more good turn. Sure. What do you want? Could you get me a drink? I'm dying of thirst here. The hotel bar won't serve me after I... You know, with the thing. Yeah, I remember. I don't. I blacked out after the fondue fountain. Come on, buddy. Just bring me a drink and you can have whatever car parts you need. Okay, okay. It's a deal. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. So it's off to the hotel we go. Hello Have a drink. Hey, what can I get you? Barkeep, give me a drink. Barkeep? I'll have an OJ. Sorry, we don't have orange juice. Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? ID? No problem. Sure. Um, uh, I guess I must have left it in my other pants. I can't serve you unless you can prove you're over 21. Uh, I can sing the entire Samurai Squad theme song. The original, not, not the remake. No ID, no alcohol, buddy. About that drink. Hmm. What's your poison? Do you have apple juice? I'm afraid we do not. I changed my mind. Well, I better go. Later. Now back to the house we go to find another oh, brother. Or whatever. Huh, I knew I left my ID in here. Back to the hotel. there hey what can I get you about that drink what's your poison give me a beer sure you got your ID of course here it is cool here you go thanks nice You're still polishing the same glass magical 
Such a slow, tedious process. Here's your drink, Leroy. Ooh, thanks, Hop. You come talk to me about those car parts anytime. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those car parts. Yep. Do you have a fan belt? Nah, no resale value. Oh, damn it. I need one. You can always try jewelry ringing it with something elastic. I need some coolant. Yeah, Jake had some bottles of coolant in his garage. I picked them up when he left. Better than let the teens try to drink them or smoke them, am I right? Very thoughtful. Ain't I a saint? So, can you give me a bottle of coolant? Which kind you need? Um... Are there different kinds? Sure, take a look. Wow, what's the difference? Use the wrong one and your radiator's kaput. That's the difference. You really don't want to put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator, no sir. Right. What was the difference between them again? You gotta choose the right one for your radiator. That's all. Like I said, never put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator. Let's try, uh... I need a bottle of G18. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right then, here you go. Thanks. Do you have any spark plugs? Nah, unless... There might be some in the old car engine hanging on the crane. Great. Can I have them? Sure, if you can get it down yourself. I'm watching the game. Sure thing. Do you have a radiator hose? I do. I tried to use it to connect the gas cylinder to my stove, but it wasn't the right size for the nozzle. Thought I'd better give up before I blew the caravan to kingdom come. About that radiator hose? Sure, take it. It's probably still with the gas cylinder. Is it safe to jury rig a fan belt? Sure. I mean, what is safe anyway? I'm here drinking in the junkyard. The junkyard is hurtling through space on a rock. Have a sense of perspective, why don't you? What about a car battery? Yeah, I was using one to jumpstart a tractor early in the week. Seemed to have plenty of juice in it. You say you have a car battery somewhere? I had it out when I was helping the farmer change tires. Darn tin can of got him far. Let's talk about something else. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Let's see here. A couple rusty hubcaps and an old hairdryer. Nah. Let's have a look here. Ah, there it is. I found the battery. Neat. I wonder what's in this pile. Nothing but a chewed up grocery cart. Here, junky, junky, junky. Huh. Just some rusty strips of sheet metal. Nothing interesting here. I always keep a keen eye on the scrap electronics. I found some sweet radio stuff in there in the past. Stuck. Hey, 
Hey, hello all. Hey, Harper. So, you're writing a story about Yelltown Fever. <sighs> I'm trying to, but I keep hitting dead ends. I tried the RHC hmm. camp, but they wouldn't even talk to me. I was hoping to get a solid lead from Patty and, well, you know. But that radio message confirmed one thing. Something stinks here in Yelltown. Oh, that? That's Mrs. Denman's tabby. Hilarious. Have you actually been to the RHC treatment camp? Yep. Those guys do not appreciate the Lost Tourist Act. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Just being a good listener. So the Port Nicola Times sent you here? Well, kind of. I'm freelance. Swanky! No. Freelance means ramen. Much ramen. But I'm onto something here. I can feel it. When I publish mm -hmm. this story, they'll have to give me a staff job. Maybe my own column. So, what's wrong with ramen? What do you know about Yelltown fever? About the disease itself? Probably not much more than you. No one knows what it is or how it spreads. We just know it kills fast. Ugh. Senator Thurlow says RHC have the disease contained and everything is under control. Mm -hmm. But then I get a weird message from a source telling me to come to Yelltown. What Senator Thurlow got to do with this? Don't you read the papers? Imagine for a moment that I do not. You do know her. She's the one who wants to set up a global health initiative to wipe out disease. Yeah, the lady from the health committee for something, something. The House Committee on Healthcare. I interviewed her back when she became chair. She's a smart cookie. Thurlow put RHC in charge here in Yelltown. I hope she knows what she's doing. You came to Yelltown to meet your source. Using a fake name, Patty told me to be cautious. Super cautious. Patty, the, the lady who... Exactly. But apart from that radio message, I don't know who she was or what she wanted to tell me. Bummer. You don't trust RHC? I don't know. RHC is the most successful private health contractor in the Northern Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. They've handled crises like this before and come out of it with gold stars. And yet? And yet I got nothing. Just a hunch. See ya. See you later, Harper. They say lightning never strikes twice. Tell that to this place. Hard to believe this is one of the least creepy looking hotels in the county. The Cahill GC300 model. These things almost never explode. When I'm thinking about this, there's got to be something um, oil-wise to loosen that lever for the crane, but where do we find an oil tank? I have everything else in here, but what I want. Ancient junk. Okay, gas cylinders. Gas cylinders. Ha! This looks like a radiator hose. Great. Let's see here. A couple of rusty hubcaps and an old hairdryer. Nah. Actually, that's G18 coolant. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the right coolant. Here. Is At that... least the oil level is fine. Oh, come on. Work with me here. Here we go. Hmm. 
I could use this hose to siphon off some oil, but it's way too long to work as a siphon. Let's shorten this a little. I can use this hose to siphon off a little oil. Okay, so I just have to suck in a little, and then... <laughs> oh. Well, it worked. Blech. All right, so we got that done. So I was kind of thinking about, like, where did we get the oil from? But I remember the oil being topped up on the vehicle. And oil, I think, is what we need for that lever. So. Let's just try that out. Here I was walking around here thinking there's got to be something in the junkyard we can actually use. But apparently there is not. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is. You just have to, you know, really think it through as, you know, from the point of uh, developers. Which I'm not against. It's just that, damn. This that works. Do the trick. Okay. Ooh. Let's check this bad boy out. Let's see what's up. Hey, <clears throat> there are some spark plugs in that engine. We got coolant. At least the oil level is fine. And we got that. Uh, the battery's there. Oops. That's really about it, isn't it? Fan belt. Fan belt. It needs a replacement fan belt. Oh, there's something we haven't tried yet. People frown on dumpster diving, but you can turn up some cool stuff. Old appliances, old comic books. And that would be old Mrs. Denman's pantyhose. Well, I'm traumatized. I'm not gonna take the pantyhose, am I? Huh. Well. Wait. Yep. Let the trauma begin, I guess, right? Okay, Mrs. Denman's underwear is worth more than she knows. I fixed the car. McBride will be like, Oh, Harper, you're, you're, you're so good at fixing cars. And I'll say, ah, don't mention it. Sure. Just cut it there then, shall we? Thank you for watching and checking out the channel. We really appreciate you being here. Now, if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe since we have a ton more content coming. Also, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. The links are listed below. And if you have a question or suggestion for the channel, drop us a comment, leave a message, or come join us on Discord.